Alright ladies and gentlemen, follow me, follow me for another interesting excursion full of city loving diversion. I would like to turn your attention to the Heralds. <coughs> the Heralds. I mean the Herald Washington building. It was built. <laughs> <laughs> so check this. During high school, me and my boys on bikes would race to the taste with 40s in our backpacks and in our pockets, nickel bags. And with rib sandwiches and corn on the cob, we moved away from the crowd and watched the lake bait. Just a handful of hours on a summer night made you think, even when you knew better, with alcohol aunts, lying uncles, hateful cops, and sleeping teachers, that maybe world can be all right. Because in this city, we know, you are what you eat. <laughs> and so, we savor the flavors of man-made miracles in the street. Because in this city, we do not have meals on wheels, but instead, elotes and mangos and Italian beefs and lemonade and turkey legs. All of these things are meals with wings. <sighs> Falling in love was better in Harrison Park with our bodies curled and flopped over each other like two fish washed onto the shore of a beach in the middle of 18th Street and a pepino in a styrofoam cup just in arm's reach. <sighs> During those days, it was all I could afford. But in between laps, when we closed our eyes and my lips connected with hers and my tongue slipped through her lips into her mouth and her tongue met and softly swirled around mine, it was so much better that I could taste the cucumber, chill it, and lie. <laughs> and there we were, just us, though still traveling through space, just fine. Because in this city, we do both, eat to live and live to eat. Because we know and see eating is time well spent. <laughs> On Friday, during Lent, they came home, my parents. Tired and warm from a week, worked hard. There was work on Saturdays too, and then there was bills to do. But that's just a stress for ghetto kids trying to do good out the neighborhood. But on Fridays, during Lent, in the Dan Bryan Forest Preserve, when we ate at a park bench, fried shrimp, catfish, and perch, and french fries from Halsted's and 127's, Arnold's fish and chicken, mm. our tongues pressed against the soft, white, flaky flesh as we washed, washed away anxieties. We exfoliated the compilation of tired and tattered moments gathered in seven days away with the rough crust of fried golden crumbs. <laughs> Bobby played with me and Nina while Mommy made sure the Kool-Aid wasn't too sweet. Otherwise, the dentist would take all our teeth. <laughs> and then time stopped. The grass loosely felt beneath our feet, clear summer sky overhead, and on Washington, uh, and, uh, and Western and 95th, all the trucks, cars, and buses moved on. In this city, food is congregation, eating is holy indulgence, spiritual ritual, the world around at warp speed dead. One bite can stop time, so let's eat. <laughs> 